entering your sunset years, as I like to call them, does have its upside. You can put your feet up and relax and indulge yourself. But striking the balance between holding on to your independence and knowing when to ask for help can be a very hard road to follow. What if there was a way in which you could get the best of both worlds? Intrigued? Well, welcome to my flat pack home. This is the series in which we track down some of the most creative, inspiring and eye-catching prefabricated building projects. From large to small, whether it's a stunning oak boathouse or a modern cedar-clad family home, the range of kit builds is better than ever. And the good news is, they can save you money, a factory built and go up in a matter of days. In this show we meet a young family whose granddad moves back home to roost in a sleek New England style flat pack. It's going to be delivered and it's going to be erected. It's just going to be so easy. And it just gets better and better. This morning there was, there was nothing there. I think my husband's going to have a bit of a shock when he gets home from work tonight. <laughs> I've come to wonderful West Sussex, a part of the country that boasts more retired people than anywhere else in the UK. And with more and more of us living to a ripe old age, how we look after our nearest and dearest can become quite a worry. But I've come to meet a young family who've come up with a very clever way of keeping Grandad close at hand. Meet Percy, who has recently moved in with his son Adrian, daughter-in-law Lauren, and grandchildren Maya and Noah after Percy's wife lost her fight with cancer earlier this year. It was a bit of a, a worry about Dad really. He was quite isolated where he was living so we looked at building on onto this house. We, we were looking at a minimum of 70,000 mm. and we just didn't have that sort of money so it was back to the drawing board. So Lauren took things into her own hands and with a corner of the garden going begging, she started her search for an affordable self-contained build. I think it's quite a nice idea because I'm close to the family and I'll have my own space and they'll have their own space because they're a young family. I, mean, I think it's going to work better that way rather than actually living in with them. With everyone in agreement, they came across Home Lodge, a kit company that specialises in small garden builds. So they've chosen a 33 square metre design made up of a main living and kitchen area, a bathroom and a double bedroom. The exterior of the build will be clad in timber with a rubber shingle roof. And with floor to ceiling insulated panels it will have the same thermal properties as if it were brick and block built, keeping Percy nice and cosy even through the winter. With the kit on order it won't be long before Percy gets his independence back and his own space. Doesn't get a moment's peace, really. <laughs> Children don't give him an opportunity to sort of dwell on things too much. Or We've you know. taken full advantage of having a living yeah. babysitter. <laughs> yeah, it does have its advantages to us. The price of the build, when compared to the £70,000 they were quoted for an extension, pales in comparison. To prepare the site for Percy's new home, the fees and foundations have come in at £10,580 and the kit is a turnkey option and will set them back £44,170, making a total of £54,750. The only thing Adrian and Lauren had to do was apply for planning permission as the building sits less than two metres from their boundary wall but it was a relatively simple process and took just five weeks to be approved. So at this rate, Percy should be in his new home in no time. In terms of features that are going to be in the house or maybe rooms, is there anything that you're really looking forward to, Percy? Not particularly like that. I'm going to love, love it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to love it all. And what about you, Lauren? Have you got any special features that you're looking forward to? It's got a vaulted ceiling inside, so for, it's quite a small building, but I think that, that's yeah. a bit of a feature. You're not expecting to see it when you walk in. Is there anything at this stage, before the build starts, that you are slightly niggly about, or anything you're a little bit worried about? 
Me personally, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right attitude um, to have. <laughs> you know, well, I suppose just that it's going to be the quality that we're expecting it to be, yeah. um, that it's going to be as quick as we're expecting it to be, um, and that it's going to sit how we, we want yeah. it to sit. Down at the bottom of the garden, the ground has been prepared and 12 concrete pads are in place to take the load of the entire build, making the annex fully portable. And at the front of the house, Percy, Lauren and Noah are on hand to welcome the kit arrival. Look, comes Laurie's Noah. Man Dad's new house. Hey. Percy's new home is stacked on just two lorries, carrying an impressive five tonnes of softwood. It's amazing how it's all going to go up into one sort of unit, really. I'm trying to figure out which bit's which. If all goes to plan, it will take a team of just five men eight hours to get Percy's home wind and watertight. The first job is to lay the four sections of pre-engineered floor joists. And no sooner have they got the first down, than the good old English weather turns. But the beauty of a timber build is everything can crack on regardless. The floor is then filled with a fibre quilt insulation, which has both excellent thermal and acoustic properties. And finally, a vapour barrier and chipboard covering completes the base. Building construction these days, I think, is very well advanced because originally it would have taken weeks to do something like this. In this day and age, it all comes all pre-cut and they just put it all together and it looks quite easy, really. From here on in, the build is incredibly fast moving, as it's just a matter of wheeling a total of 10 closed panels into position, gluing them and nailing them all together. Each panel is super sturdy and is pre-insulated, pre-clad and painted. They even come complete with window frames and door openings. I'm actually amazed how it's, how it's progressed from this morning. It's going to be actually wonderful. It looks really, really a nice building. It looks well made. I'm really, really impressed with it. And the best thing about taking the flat pack route is that the family can literally sit back and watch the annex materialise before their very eyes. By late afternoon, the roof joists start to go up and the pre-insulated, pre-painted roof panels slot into place. It's just seven hours into the build and the team should comfortably be on schedule to get the build finished within the day. This morning there was, there was nothing there, it was just the, the foundations and um, yeah, there's, there's a house there now. Um, I think my husband's going to have a bit of a shock when he gets home from work tonight. <laughs> What a difference a day makes. The floors have been laid, the pre-built panels erected and the insulated vaulted roof completes the build. Over the next four days, the rubber shingle roof is fitted, the porch goes up and the glazing goes in. And as the build reaches its wind and water tight stage, I can't wait to take a look inside. I have to say, it's very substantial, isn't it? It's a great, it's a good size. You're pleased yeah. with it, now it's up. I bet you're itching, aren't you, to get in oh, there? Wait, yeah. oh, it looks really, really good. <laughs> really does. Let's get inside and have a little look. Look at this. It doesn't feel cramped or claustrophobic at all, and I think a lot of that is to do with this ceiling, isn't it? This was the feature that you were looking yes, forward to, wasn't yeah. it? Is it worked how you wanted it to? Yeah, yes. I think it just gives that extra feeling of space. Yeah. It gives, it's a bit different, it gives it a yeah. character. Is this literally going to be... Are you having a kitchen area in here as well? Very, very, just a small kitchen over there. Lovely. Just... Make a cup of tea and a slice of toast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then living area here. Living yeah. area there. That's Wonderful. It. And I guess insulation-wise, your heating bills are going to be next to nothing, aren't they? Yeah, so yeah. there's just one small heater in here, they say. And that's, that's it. adequate. I think it's wonderful, I really do. Can we go and have a quick look at the bedroom as well? You can't believe you can get so much in something like this. No. So wardrobe, bathroom? Yep. Lovely. Yes. Very nice. And this is the bedroom. 
It's great, isn't it? How long do you think before you can move in? How many more weeks? Well, another two, two, three tops. Brilliant. And then yeah. that's it, you'll be in? Be in. You and the dog and the cat? That's correct. What do you yeah. think the dog and the cat are going to think of it? Oh, they love it. <laughs> It's quite peace and quiet. Peace and quiet, yeah. <laughs> They won't be harassed by the grandkids That's anymore. Right, All tires. three of you can come in here and just go, ah! Yeah, home. <laughs> It's a natural desire for many of us to want to look after and protect our parents in their old age the way that they've looked after us throughout our lives and this provides the perfect solution. For Percy, he manages to retain a sense of independence and he has his own house and a bit of privacy. And for Lauren, Adrian and the kids, well they have granddad living just at the bottom of the garden.